Hey, in this video, I wanna quickly show you some five books that I think are really great if you wanna start out in brand strategy and start learning about it. So I will find books here. Number one is probably Marty Neumeyer's Brand Gap. I recommend reading all of his books. He's got, you know, Zag, uh, he's got Scramble as well. Um, he's just got a, a whole heap of different ones that can really help you out. And you can see in here what the book looks like. And I'm sure you guys can see that, but it's got some examples here. It's got some diagrams, but he really breaks down the process to bridge the gap between strategy and actually design and how to start to you know, use some business terminology and things like that. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly read something here, which is kind of interesting. Um, it says, as we move from one size fits all economy to a mass customization economy, the intention of marketing has shifted from features to benefits, to experience, to tribal identification. And he goes on to talk about like the unique buying state and value proposition and things like that. So um, I think it's really, really key, really useful book. Um, the Brand Gap by Marty Numai is a great start. This one is Building Distinctive Brand Assets. This doesn't really cover like the big picture of brand strategy, but it really talks about how to create distinctive assets in you know design, in the packaging industry. It uses some packaging examples as well, but also as design as a whole. Um, it talks about like um, memory and the capacity of someone's mind to remember something. And one really cool tip that it talks about was like, when you look at a packaging on a shelf, um, 50 to 60 percent of what's remembered is the brand color so something called color blocking and that's why you see a lot of packages with like heaps of different color and stuff which is kind of cool so you can see here what's in the book it's very like text heavy um as you can see there it's got the evidence you know creative uh, asset management system it's got some diagrams as well really 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 cool um a bit more deeper to the psychology of like strategy and stuff but i think it's really really cool i'm just gonna quickly have a quick break I just want to show you a cool light that I've got. So when I'm reading my books, I've got this cool BenQ light. So hopefully you can see that. Um, they actually sent it to me. BenQ sent it to me. It's called a screen bar. And I'll just quickly grab up the the actual thing here. So you can see it's the screen bar e-reading lamp. This video is not sponsored, guys. They just sent me the lamp for free. Um, and I'm just going to quickly show you like what it does. It's pretty actually handy. I think you get it for like $100 or something. Yeah, so overall, I think it's a really cool light because it actually provides light when I'm actually reading books. So I don't know if you can see, but you can see here as I'm like reading the books, it's got like a lot of light, which is nice. And it's just plugged in via USB into my PC. So it's got like a cable here and you can attach this little thing here and it goes all the way. So it's kind of cool. Definitely check it out. I'll put a link in the description to check out. And I think it's really great if you're, if you're a big on reading. The third book is The Win Without Pitching Manifesto by Blair Ends. This is really great. It talks about like, how to deal with proposals, you know, how to really talk to clients, how to talk about money, how to um, pitch and things like that. And it also mentions like things like strategy as well. Um, but he comes from the, the point of view of like, he's a consultant. Um, so it's like high level type of thinking, but I think it's a, it's a really great starting point. It's very clean, very minimal, um, you know, and, and it breaks down things really, really cool. Um, I, I'll read something here, it was really cool. It says, when we follow the earlier proclamations, we make following this fifth one possible. And in this way, we continue to march from order taker to expert one step at a time. Um, so he was talking about like the conversation because the the connection between the client might, might ask for a proposal, right? Um, but instead of saying, yes, I'll just send you one. It's like um, you have a certain process um, before you're going to present something. So. That's really cool. Uh, I think it's really nice. It's easy and a short read, so grab that one. Number four is Creative Strategy and the Business of Design by David Davies, which is awesome. This one's very text heavy as well. It's got a little bit of um, diagrams, um, which is really cool. So, you know, look at this one. It's kind of cool. Dissecting the elements of our content formula, um, you know, destination, occasion, differentiation, and discovery. So a lot of cool stuff. I, it's really good to you know go back into these books and dig dive deeper because you miss some things when you're first starting out as a designer you might miss certain parts but now when you have a deeper understanding i feel like if i go read this again i'll, I'll understand a lot more of the concepts um but it talks about like communication media um you know it talks about pricing you know packaging um heaps of heaps of different cool stuff so that's creative strategy and business of design and i think everyone should get that and then lastly this one's a great one Branding in five and a half steps by Michael Johnson. 
And you see I've got, I've got like little um, tags there. But I'm just gonna open up, show you real quick. This one's more of like a designer friendly, got visual examples. Um, it's got nice typography, diagrams, which I think is really cool. And it asks really key questions. So if I, if I grab something here, so this it talks about like the whole process of branding from the start to finish from an identity, the strategy to the identity, right? So some questions here, it's like, um, if you had a client, this is what you'd, you'd say, you'll say, why are we here? What do we do and how do we do it? What makes us different? How, who, are, uh, who are we here for? So like the target audience. What do we value the most? And what's our personality? And then uh, what's our, our uh, aim or ambition, right? So heaps of different questions. It asks you, it gives you examples of like real brands and how they do their taglines and stuff like that. It talks about like um, how to create like your brand values. Um, a lot of that stuff is really interesting as well. Um, but plenty, 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 plenty of good stuff in here, as you can see. So those are my top five recommendations. If you want to start learning about brand strategy, maybe you're a designer just doing logos at the moment, but you want to move on and start learning. So I do recommend these books, guys. Definitely check them out. Some of these cost about $50 from Amazon. So I'll put links in the description um, to my book list, which you can you can check it out. But um, but it's well worth the investment because you're gonna it's gonna affect impact your business and you're gonna grow from that. So. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this one on books. Uh, I didn't do the book one too much, but uh, hopefully you like it. Thanks so much. Smash the like button and subscribe because I post amazing design content all the time.